Okay, so today we are getting into what are, in my opinion, the top three fastest growing suburbs here in the Memphis area. And I'm actually not going to focus on population growth as a metric here, but rather just the influx of amenities, things to do, that kind of thing. And population honestly is just going to follow that. But you need to know as you're looking into areas, as I'm getting calls from you guys, talking with you guys, we talk about home prices, we talk about schools, all that good stuff. But then one of the questions you've asked me, of course, is what is there to do around the area? Grocery stores, stores, dining, shopping, all the things. And so I vetted out these areas. And in my opinion, again, I think these are the top three fastest growing suburbs here in the Memphis, Tennessee area. So let's hop right into it. Oh, and definitely stay tuned to the end because I'm actually going to mention something that is coming to the area that a lot of Memphians are excited about. And it is not the AI supercomputer, the whole Elon Musk thing, because I've already covered that in this video right here. So after this, go ahead and watch that. All right, number one, in no particular order, we're gonna talk about Bartlett, Tennessee. Okay, so one of the things that we're actually seeing kind of happen throughout the city, which I think is just an incredible idea, is the pop-up rather of these mixed use projects that are kind of happening all over the city. Now, I will say a lot of them haven't even broke ground yet, but the great thing is, is that the plans are there. You can check them out on each city's or suburbs site rather and see the plans, look at all that. So the plans have been approved. Bartlett is actually going to be having one of them being built, which is called Union Square or Union Depot. So it's a $162 million project over 74 acres. And and it's supposed to be a collection of homes, flats, stores, and restaurants. And it's really much like the one that we've seen in South Haven, or if you've watched that video called Silo Square, absolutely beautiful. They've been adding on, adding restaurants and so many things to that location, but it's going to be something like that. So I think that one is really impressive and how it's come up and all the things that they're offering to the residents. So I hope to see that Union Depot be something similar to that. And it is supposed to be, if you kind of look at the outline that they've given us uh, and what it is supposed to contain. But one thing to note about Bartlett is why it's an already attractive place for people when they start looking at moving here is the fact that the location is just perfect also coupled with the amount of shopping and dining options nearby and so I've said this every time I talk about Bartlett that it pretty much just has everything that you need and for what you don't have in part in Bartlett you can just easily hop on over to Cordova pretty easily to access even more stores restaurants shopping uh, Costco is over there which is a big deal Old Navy Bath and Body Works Best Buy. Does anyone go to Best Buy anymore? But anyways, there's that and just so much more, honestly, that is over there in Cordova. So that's the great thing about where Bartlett is. It's kind of, I like to say that it's kind of like in the middle of town, in the middle of Memphis proper, so to speak. But what else is coming to Bartlett that makes this list? The city of Bartlett is also building a new 911 dispatch building for police, fire, and EMS. And let me just say this about the Bartlett Police Department. Okay. All of Memphis pretty much knows, and I learned it really quickly when I moved here almost a decade ago, is that when you go through Bartlett, you have got to be going the speed limit because the Bartlett police are out there, they do not play, and if you're gonna get a ticket anywhere in Memphis for speeding, most likely it's gonna be in Bartlett. And I have to say this, I really love the fact that there is police presence. I was just talking to one of you guys as I was preparing this video. She was like, yes, of course, you know, that's great. And me, as a law abiding citizen, I love the fact that there's police presence. So that is not a negative, that's actually a positive in my opinion. And the Bartlett Police Department is pretty active in the community. If you just go to their Facebook page, you see that they are doing all kinds of things, all kinds of events. And fun fact, I actually know someone who has uh, applied and done their PT and all that for the police department. And if pickleball is your thing, they have actually opened the first indoor pickleball facility in Memphis. So you guys, let me know in the comments below, is pickleball just 
getting big everywhere because I know here in Memphis it has gotten pretty big so but if you love pickleball there's that okay so let's talk about some home prices here so here's the thing when I shoot videos and I may have talked about Bartlett months ago or any other area months ago anytime I talk about it again I want to mention home prices because obviously home prices change as the market changes and as i pulled up some information and data that i'm going to share with you now it's pretty interesting to see some of that change from previous videos so it's good to kind of see just how home prices are you know kind of having this ebb and flow throughout the course of these videos so bartlett is actually an area where there is a bigger range in terms of pricing which also makes it attractive for people moving to the area because i know if you watch my videos you're probably tired of hearing me say that your dollar stretches further here but that's what you guys tell me when y'all move here but the lowest price listing right now is hundred and forty thousand dollars which is a condo and it's actually a three bed two and a half bath so that kind of gives you an idea just in terms of space uh with that price range now for a single family home the lowest price listing is two hundred and fourteen thousand, and it's a four bed three bath there's that on the lower side and for a lot of people especially with us still having these higher interest rates something like that can be more attractive and the highest price listing right now in Bartlett is 1.6 million you guys so again that huge range is there now if you're wanting new construction in Bartlett you're gonna be looking at between 345,000 and 635,000 so there's just a lot of opportunity in Bartlett even if you're wanting new construction so if you want to be in the middle of the city and be around things to do shops restaurants dining all of that thing all of those things then that might be a great choice for you to check out Bartlett hey baby say hi hi <laughs> All right, number two, one of my favorite areas in the Memphis area is Arlington, Tennessee. And so it is one of my favorite areas. I've really seen so much growth happen here. But before we go on and talk about it, if you are new here and you like videos where I'm talking about all about the Memphis area, welcome number one. My name is Natasha. I am a licensed real estate agent in Tennessee, also Mississippi, soon to be Arkansas as well. And so I make videos just like this talking all about the areas. I help so many of you guys move to the area so again if you're new here welcome but if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and subscribe and like share comment all the things with these videos and of course if you want to take it a step further thinking about moving to the area give me a call shoot me a text my number is right here I typically will get back pretty fast also email me some of you guys email me too I will get back to you same day hands down within a matter of hours for the most part so anyway reach out I'd love to hear from you we can set up a zoom call and we can have a conversation about what your specific needs are and ultimately we can put a game plan together to get you here it's one of my favorite things as a realtor is working with you guys and really kind of helping put the pieces of the puzzle together to make your move here just as smooth as possible so like Bartlett I love the location of Arlington now it sits a little further east than Bartlett but the location is still great so it's not far from the city of Memphis proper so to speak here's why I'm mentioning Arlington is that there has just been so much growth in terms of stores shopping dining those kind of things that have really popped up even in the past couple years for sure like even in the past year but you've got so much that's coming up and pretty recently established places as well there's a chicken salad chicken that opened up a couple coffee shops more dining options and the town is pretty excited about the new grocery store uh, Kroger grocery store that is set to open this year okay I don't know if the town is like really excited about it but I'm a wife and a mom and I go grocery shopping and so it's nice to have a really nice grocery store with all the options so the one already in Arlington is pretty nice already but it's I'm kind of excited about the one in Arlington as well now I think where we've seen major major growth in Arlington is in new construction hands down 
so many developments, so many new neighborhoods. And so the past few years, Grant Homes has really dominated that area. So right now there are 22 active new construction listings or proposed construction, under construction, that kind of all encompasses this uh, new construction umbrella. But 22 of those listings in Arlington right now. And they're gonna be ranging from 440,000 all the way up to 700,000. And then here's a list of new developments. And so some of these have already been completed or almost all completed, but it seems like more and more divisions of neighborhoods are just popping up. And as you can see, this is a pretty extensive list just in the town of Arlington, which honestly, you guys, it's not huge at all. I mean, it's a very tight knit community, but that actually tells you a lot about an area's growth because as you know, my husband is an investor. Sometimes I kind of put my investor hat on and I think about that. Builders, investors, okay? Because builders, I mean, they're, they're investors. They're just kind of building from the ground up but they're not going to invest or build in an area that's not growing. What they do, just as any investor does, is they see the projected value or growth of an area and so they put their money into that area. And so that's what they have done. And that's why we're seeing so many new developments and new divisions of neighborhoods just coming up. I always say this, Arlington is an area that really does hold steady their property values. So especially those of you that are PCSing, you know, moving uh, to the area for military reasons, I always say that Arlington is a really great choice because a lot of times your stint here is for two or three years. It's almost like three years at the most and then you're moving on to the next one. Well, you have a decision where you can either rent your home out, which some of y'all do, or selling it. And a lot of times that exit strategy is what you really need to be looking at when you're coming here and just gonna be, be here for a few years. So Arlington is a great choice for that reason. And then just for existing properties, not new construction, there are 46 listings active right now. And I was actually, it was pretty interesting. I actually saw some in the 200s and 300,000s, which honestly is a little rare for, for um, Arlington, but it is, I think, more so indicative of where our market is right now. Longer days on market mean either lower list price and price drops. Average days on market right now, you know, are between 30 and 60 days. So they're definitely a lot longer. And so we'll kind of see those numbers drop in an area for that reason. But average price in Arlington will mainly be around the four hundred five hundred thousand dollar range. So the ones in the two hundred three hundred thousand, it was definitely under like five listings okay all right number three millington tennessee so on the map going a little bit further out we get into millington so it's still shelby county which let me back up all three suburbs that i'm actually talking about today are in shelby county but millington has just exploded in terms of growth i mean the growth of all the amenities has probably been the most impressive of everything i've listed here so they've got a TJ Maxx, Hobby Lobby, Ulta Beauty, Chipotle, Waffle House, and the Whataburger is about to open up soon. And they aren't even done building that yet. So that will probably open very, very, very soon, probably within the next month. And they're still bringing more to the area. One of the major investments coming to the Millington area is the Astoria mixed use project and waiting for them to break ground because I actually did a video talking about Millington and I mentioned that maybe one or two times almost a year ago. So a story is again another one of those mixed use developments that will have residential, shopping, entertainment and it actually looks pretty impressive. I mean the mock-up looks very very nice and so I'm super excited to see what that's just going to look like but I know on their website they have i went to it recently i saw they have some pre-leasing for some of the lofts but it just says join the interest list and i'm like i want to see pictures of what this is going to look like but anyway i think it's going to be a very very nice addition to millington i just hope that they can get it up off the ground soon like 
literally. But speaking of new developments, Millington actually has a couple, and when I say a couple, I actually really do mean two, a couple, new neighborhoods. So they've got a DR Horton community, Huntington Estates, which I did a video on that, I think last year now, and I actually sold one last month. And then they have another one coming soon called The Orchard, and prices are pretty reasonable. So the one that I actually sold was a four bed, two bath. My clients got $10,000 in incentives. They also got the, it was a special of like a 5.99% interest rate if you use their lender. And because they were military uh, veterans, they got an extra $2,000 in closing costs. And so it could be veterans, EMS, paramedics, what is it, um, nurse, uh things like that so anyway they got an extra two thousand dollars which was incredible and it totally worked out but if you are looking for a new build in millington then dr horton really is just going to be your only option because of those two neighborhoods so right now there's actually 14 new construction listings and they range under four hundred thousand. and this is apart from the orchard that is going to be coming up soon now price point in Millington is just in general is on the lower side and in on average, what we're seeing now is around the 300,000 mark. And I do believe those new builds have helped because I shot a video talking about Millington. I, I can't remember, I think it was within the last six months, but I remember seeing the average sold price was around like the 200,000s, mid 200,000s. So I do believe that property values have gone up just because of uh, Huntington Estates that has actually been selling. Millington might be a great option for you. There's so much, if you want to be, if you want to actually live kind of out, be a little bit more rural, gosh, I hate saying that word, but Millington might be a great choice for you and they're just bringing so much to the area. So it's definitely a win-win just to check out. But if you're wanting to check out any of these areas, definitely reach out, give me a call, shoot me a text. Again, I'd love to help you make the move here. Now, for the addition to the area that we are the most excited about, not the most, but we're all excited about it, a lot of Memphis is, is going to be Bucky's convenience store gas station hopefully you know what bucky's is but if you're on a road trip you know that you want to stop at bucky's they've got clean restrooms you can be in there for hours their mascot is a beaver it's a texas thing i love bucky's i'm used to going in texas when we travel within texas always want to stop at bucky's but they have since branched out everywhere so the location where is it going to be it's actually going to be in galloway tennessee which is about 30 minutes and it's going to be off of i-40 sorry halfway to jackson tennessee about 30 minutes from memphis so that's going to be the location there a lot of people are excited about it and it's not going to be too far from arlington and you know and so anyway i love that i love that a bucky's is coming nearby and let me just say this you know memphis really is experiencing investments coming obviously there's the ai supercomputer thing that whole thing there's mixed emotion around that but we're seeing all of these developments coming into various areas and so that's more more so what this video was all about in terms of talking about the these growing communities so anyway there you have it guys if you want to explore any more of these areas in detail you want to talk about them further get a really good handle grip on them based on your specific situation again reach out don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye